Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over the assembling machine or assembler from Immersive Engineering. So we're going to throw down two redstone engineering blocks like so, a light engineering block in the middle, put uh, steel scaffolding on the sides, and that's going to be your first layer for this one. Next, we're going to do iron sheet metal like so, then another light uh, engineering block across there, put two sheet metals on top of the side, on top of it, and then the sides. Then we're going to use sheet metal slabs like this. And then finally, we'll add our conveyor belts. Whatever direction you have these conveyor belts, they have to match up. And whatever one is running into the machine will be your input. So have them both facing the same way. We're going to click our hammer on this conveyor belt, and that's going to assemble your machine. Let's make it day here. So. Any items that enter here are going to go into its internal inventory, and we'll get into that in a second over here. This is input because it's blue, and also the conveyor belt's running into the machine, but here is the liquid input too. So you can have crafting recipes that involve uh, liquids. You have your redstone control here, and on the other side also, you power it from the top from this little orange slot, and then orange, which is export for most things in immersive engineering, so we have that. Now, if we come over to one of these and it's actually connected into a chain, you can see we've got our liquids coming in here, conveyor coming off of our sawmill, and uh, what we're going to do is check this out inside. It has three different crafting, or crafting recipe uh, grids and then the three outputs. It also has three tanks for different liquids. We're using just creosote here. So you got that and it needs power, so it has its power bar here. So what we're going to do is show you one of the crafting recipes we can automate here, which is stripped logs into oak. And as you can see over here, it's actually kind of pumping them out because there is no secondary recipe for that. But if we put our creosote bucket in the middle here, surround it with uh, planks, it's going to start generating our treated planks out the other side, which is very cool because you only need one bucket. It actually automatically... Uh, refills the bucket using the tanks right into the recipe so you don't need to sit here and stack a bunch of buckets in here to keep inventory and have them empty buckets coming out of the other side which is super useful and uh, you can see it's using the planks for this recipe so you can technically well you, more than technically you can uh, have three recurring recipes so if this needs this and this needs that you can all make it in a single machine or you can just stack these up and continuously import items from one side <clears throat> and uh that's it for this one if you found it helpful like comment subscribe